Uh, which of the following assumptions is necessary to the former employee's claim? What's the former employee's claim? The former employee's claim is that <clears throat> the uh, non-compete non agreement that um, he made is preventing him from making a living. Uh, so he signed an agreement that he won't work for a competing company two, for two years after the employment with Company Z, and that's preventing him from making a living. So the assumption there is that that's really the case, that he is actually being, that he actually can't make a living, he can't get a job if he's not allowed to work for a competing company. So the assumption, is it A, contracts restricting employment are contrary to public policy? Pfft, public policy, totally outside the scope. Uh, B, the skills that employees learn on the job are not the property of the employer. Well, that's true, but that doesn't prevent him from, it's not that they say, we own your skills, it's that he's saying, I can't get a job somewhere else. Uh, C, many jobs do not require their employees to sign non-compete agree non agreements. That's true, but many jobs are not within the scope. We're talking about specifically Company Z and its industry. A choice D, the only jobs available to the former employee are with Company Z's competitors. Here is a reason why this non-compete agreement would actually prevent him from making a living. If the only jobs he can get are with the competitors and he is contractually forbidden to do so, he is prevented from making a living. That is the assumption. Choice D.